Hi, welcome to Lab Module 2 of the Azure Data Factory Hands-On Lab. In this lab module, we'll be going over how to run your native SQL Server Integration Services packages directly in Azure. First, let's go over how our SSIS package is loading our Azure SQL Data Warehouse. This package is following a typical data warehouse load pattern and is taking data from our transactional Azure SQL Database and landing it in an operational data store Azure SQL Database. This operational data store resembles the data from the source and is also the target for flat files from Azure Blob Storage. From there, the SSIS package copies the data to an Azure SQL staging area where some joining of the data is done. Finally, the SSIS package loads the data into a star schema in the Azure SQL Data Warehouse using a Kimball style approach where data is loaded into dimensions and then the fact table performs lookups on the appropriate business keys to get dimension surrogate key values for storage. Note that for the purposes of having this lab self-contained, all of our data sources exist as part of the resource group deployed in Lab Module 1. In a hybrid scenario, you could have a VNet established that would allow you to access your on-premises resources that you could already be targeting in your current SSIS packages. Once that Azure network infrastructure is set up, then uploading your packages to Azure in a lift and shift scenario becomes a much easier task and gives you easy scaling capabilities of the nodes running in your Azure SSIS integration runtime. Before we get into the specific tasks we'll be accomplishing in this lab, let's discuss what you'll need to have before we start. First, you'll need an active Azure subscription with rights to use and deploy Azure services. You will need SQL Server Management Studio, as we'll be interacting with the integration catalog. You'll need to make sure you've completed Lab Module 1, as it will deploy all the servers and resources accessed by our SSIS package. Finally, you'll need the SSIS package to upload to your Azure SQL Database SSIS DB. This package should be located in the Lab Module 2 folder. In this lab module, we'll be walking you through how to create an Azure SSIS integration runtime. As part of this runtime creation, it will also create an SSIS DB for us on our Azure SQL database server. We will then upload our SSIS package to the integration services catalog. We'll then manually execute the SSIS package and monitor the package execution. Finally, we'll show you how to use Azure Data Factory to run a trigger to schedule the SSIS package using a stored procedure call. At the end of this lab module, you should have an understanding of how a lift and shift of a local SSIS package would work with Azure Data Factory and the Azure SSIS integration runtime. You should know how to monitor your SSIS packages as well as use Azure Data Factory to schedule the package execution. In future lab modules, we'll discuss in more detail how to monitor pipeline executions using the built-in monitoring tools that Azure Data Factory provides. In our next lab module, module three, we will begin to take some of the same Azure SQL Data Warehouse load patterns that exist in this SSIS package and rebuild those directly in Azure Data Factory using the graphical user interface. And the lab modules following that will then enrich that data with online REST API sources and spin up an HD Insight cluster to perform some big data tasks. Hope to see you in module three. Thanks.